Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to this Gal pl Gale Plays uh, series, where we take a look at some uh, casual Gale play through certain games. This one is, of course, The Simpsons Tapped Out. Um, what we're going to be looking at is the next week's new update that just arrived, and it is for the Halloween teaser coming up, which is, I believe, The Simpsons Trios of Horror 29. So we're going to be basically taking a look into her gameplay, as it were, on my freaking account to see if whether or not this is going to be somewhat of interest. So let's go ahead and see exactly what she has for me to kind of work with here. So here we go. So just like that, um, She's showing us Trios of Horror 29, so this is the new character coming out. So this is just right before the update happened, and oh, oh what the fuck? Oh, oh no, what is that monstrosity? Oh, something happened to the gypsy place. But anyways, that, that, that will be shown later. So anyways, here's the update. Now it's popped up. And... Just like that, it got clipped. Yeah, so just like that, we got some things going on here. For some reason, it just got clipped here, but it, I don't think you're really missing anything because the main focus is going to be on the side here. So I guess she's showing us that there are two items, fortune teller, and then the fortune teller's is... Uh, tent, which he's trying to put on here. So technically she can put it where the thing's supposed to be, but I have no idea why that's the case. It might actually end up becoming uh, some sort of main staple when it comes to next event, but who knows? And, oh god. Oh god, blurriness. <laughs> it does not like it when you move around like that, but if you keep it still, everything looks pretty nice. So, that's something for you all to note whenever trying to do this, but... Anyways, yep, put it down there. And now you're just waiting for four hours. It's just typical when it comes to stuff like this. So, I believe... Oh, well, what? <laughs> oh, okay, you just wanted to look at what what's going on there? That's nice. Alright, can we go and see... Lisa, I believe. Yeah, I think I think she told me Lisa's in this case. Where is she? She's somewhere around here, that's for sure. Not and they're in the glitchy place, that's for sure. Oh there she is, he's up there. Wait, wait, Gail. Gail, she's up there. It's up in the corner! Oh. Alright, fine. Let's pretend that didn't happen, so okay, let's go all the way down here. Let's do it the long ass way. She's gonna try to find where Lisa is, which is coming soon. Yep, somewhere here. There she is. Hey, everybody! There we go. Dad, why are you surrounded by all these tiny slips of paper? Okay, you can move on now, Hill. Oh, she wanted to make sure I can read this properly. Okay, here we go. I've been eating fortune cookies, and they're all coming true. Check out this one. You will eat too many Chinese pastries. These are eerily accurate. A young man will show you a disrespect. Hey, Fatso, what with all the scraps? You eat a newspaper? Just like that. Build the fortune teller tent. Now, here's a little rant I think she told me to... Yeah, she wrote something down here. So here's a rant, basically. Normally, in the normal one, before they re-updated it, once you put down this free tent, that was it. That was all the quest had left to offer. After that, it's like, too bad, nothing else. Though I think they changed it now so that you can actually continue on with the event without having the uh, gypsy there. But unfortunately, um, yeah, Gail, I um, mean, what, what do you call it? There is something weird about this whole thing. The Simpsons look, feel, and all that stuff. Oh my goodness. 
Oh dear. What else goes on? I wonder. What's her seat doing? I guess she's just fooling around until she can do something about this. I guess she was trying to get me some time to, to talk about this whole ordeal. Alright, alright. So, yeah, basically, after you've done this, that's it. No more quest. However, they changed it because of the, um... Because 90 donuts for a locked quest teaser was somewhat crappy. And she's gonna buy it, isn't she? Yes, she is. Of course she is! Ugh, Ooh, whatever. Premium character. Would you like to know your future? I also sell onions. Convenient. Treehouse of Horror 29. Alright. Right, so you're zooming in to get a good image of her. Single file, one at a time. Everyone will have their fortune told. Stupid Flanders. You're trying to cut me off from my future. Sorry about that. I'm just excited to denounce this witch from her satanic practices. I'm doing bad voices. <laughs> I agree, her prices are devilishly high. Quiet, Tubby. You descent to die alone with chicka wing in your hand. Not in my mouth? I'm awful. Make the fortune teller tell fortune, misfortune part one. So it's 60 minutes. It's a pretty short quest line, I must say. Uh, I got clean tarot cards, predict the innocent electional incorrect election result, predict their own future, and make a killing in sports. We're all gonna see all that, and uh, yeah. I think she kind of cleaned up my town a bit more. It wasn't less messy, but you can see how long this has been going on for a while. Like, what, we've started this since... Way before we started Grimokin, I mean, we we did this, what, by 2014, I think? Whatever, what was the first year when it came to the um, Halloween event with the alien invasion? Oh my god, this guy would be so good to see this stuff going on here. Ugh, oh, okay, the gameplay she's giving me. Just, I guess, just trying to stall time just for me to commentate over all this stuff. Man. What is she doing now with the Spage Coyote? Yeah, okay, cool. Just put our put him on a quest. That's great. All right. What what is it? What are you doing now? What what is your deal? What are you doing? It's trying to stall time. Yeah, of course. Okay, so she's in the brown house, not in her tent. The brown house. Okay. And just like that, the abrupt, we've now going to build the fortune teller house. It's done, and we've got a misfortune here. Who's next? Me! And I'm here to tell everyone that you're a phony! She said I would be getting a lift in the personality- lift in the personal area. Then she secretly paid Nelson to give me a wedgie. Okay, sometimes I give the future a helping hand, but really can foretell it. But I can't really foretell it. I'll prove it to you. I'll predict my own future. Ah, poor Mailhouse. Nothing's ever going to come up with him. With Miss Fortune uh, predicting her own future. Ah, uh, we got some for four hours. So she's petting a black cat. Everything seems fine. Money gets flown to her face and it's like, ooh, and it's pickpox, is it? I guess she was just looking here to see if anything else new will pop up, but I think that's about it. She's just kind of like petting, being smiling, shifty eyes. Yep. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> okay, we get it, Gail. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I guess she decided to redo this because she just saw this happening before uh, she, she cut it briefly, so... I think she's trying to get to that last animation that's there. There it is. Yeah, the bird poop, and she didn't poop on her. So, she's getting luck, basically. Alright, and there you go. Let's go over here to the building Come that's in. built. Something strange is going on in this town, and it's time to consult a truth trustworthy expert. Our garlic-smelling old woman who lives in the tent. There you go. Fortune favors the belled. So, there's your tent. That's all you get. That's, that would have been the end of the request, but now they've kind of changed it so that you don't need this check. But because I happen to have 
this chick that probably will be helpful maybe in the next part who knows who knows if she will be moved over it's hard to say at this point oh look there's still the glitch area what is she doing why is she trying to put uh, i think she was trying to cover that blank spot off so what i've heard about with this gypsy fortune teller shop Apparently when it's looking down south in this update, it's glitched up like that, but if it's looking at the other side, it's normal. So I don't know what she's I don't know what she's looking for. And look at all those graphics. I mean like why? Why does that happen? Like look at it. Look at the garbage mess that is the glitch. Like Santa's and Oh my god, it's like uh, she's even agreeing with that. You have to, it's like having a tune play your, your phone seems a bit oblivious, but, uh, well, I might as well click her. Come in, Homer. How do you know my name? Your name is written on your underwear band, and you're not wearing pants. They were too tight. Turns out fortune cookies are very fattening when you eat 2,000. Oh my fucking god. I see dark and terrible dangers in your future. You know, if it wasn't as hideous as you and live in a tent, I'll try being more positive. She's not that bad looking. Make Homer fear the future and make Fortune huh? Teller mumble. Man, uh, he's, he's gonna fear I the future. I, I didn't get a chance to see what. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna be able to see what she said afterwards, which is probably right now. Uh, Miss Fortune, she's gonna rush this. Yep. I mean, she's rusting it because it's free. At some point, it's like, oh, I might as well just make it free. <laughs> she's strutting her stuff. Look at her proudly walking. There we go. See? I predicted that no one would believe me, and no one does. Even I'm not falling for that one. And I bought a potion from a magazine that's supposed to make me attractive to women. So far, all it does is bring every raccoon in the Trice Count area. Maybe they're female raccoons. Hmm? Wow. One minute I'm the most popular destination in town. Now, next minute, no one wants to ever talk to me. I'll take... I'll talk to you. My other friend had to go home. You mean the road... That roadkill possum you were talking to? A crow flew off with it. What the heck? I'll give you a free reading. Hmm, stay clear of roads. You might get to spend time with crows, too. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know how much more of this I can take. What a great power she must have. Make fortune tell her deal with the showbiz, the slow business. Mother Darkly. A uh, mother's Darkly, I see. All right. Um, yeah, sorry about the bad acting. She wants me to act into this because she wants this to be more hydrogenic. Because how else can you make something excited for me? I mean, I'm an entertainer. I mean, she's a silent tune. And I'm just basically commentating over her fucking work. And, uh, yep, no luck. There it is. Animated. Steal fortune from fortune cookies. Yeah, look at that. It's, it has frog sounds. I'm gonna make sure this will be better quality next time. Alright, now we're... Ow! Yeah, okay, so we're done Momo, with this act, so let's see way. what ends up happening now. Enter and hear your fate, Krusty the Clown. I need to know if my opening monologue is going to bomb tonight. For that, you don't need a fortune teller. May Krusty has his fortune told. Cut that out. Oh, poor Krusty. Yeah, so dealing with slow business. Yeah, so you no longer need her. This is the thing. You don't need her. You only need her, like, for, like, an hour. So, like, 90, 90 minutes just to hide that. That's just so stupid. Whoa! Crystal reveals great change and terror in your fate. Future. You will become something terrible that people fear and loathe. I'm going to turn into one of my ex-wives? If you like that joke, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> yeah, there you go, folks. Subscribe to my channel if you like that joke that Krusty told. Make Willie complain to himself. Uh, I guess she wants more donuts because you can't you can't Ooh, argue with f uh, fro nuts or whatever you call it. There we go. Next, all right, we got we got two things going on now. So let's see this. 
Krusty, listen to me. There's great danger coming. Okay. Uh, Gale? Hello? Earth to Gale. Uh, okay, this is gonna be... Oh, here we go. I know! My show is up for a renewal, and the network X have threatened to watch before deciding. Now, we're going to play a game called Krusty Stops Making Stupid Comments and Just Listens. Now where have I heard that before? Wait, are you one of my ex-wives? Oh my god. You know, the fortune teller is not that bad of a character looking wise. Anyways. Business is slow. I can't even afford to buy the latest edition of Gypsy Galore. Glamour. But what the other job can I do? My only skill is making highly accurate and precisely predictions of the future. How's a gal- how's a girl supposed to make money off of that? Make a fortune teller make a killing in sports bidding. Hey, of course she would! This is the Simpsons we're talking about. The tailor cards have spoken. Soon you will be causing people great misery in the night. They'll make me host this tonight show? Alright! <laughs> All right, no, I'll, I'll I'll give the people at EA credit. I mean, they they certainly uh, make it funny to listen to his the, the reaction. Oh my God, look at that! She's really watching it on her phone and really getting excited. She's really making a bet. Yeah, woohoo! Doing the Homer, woohoo! I'm sorry for the bad bad act. <laughs> You gotta blame the fucking tune. You, you, like, like associations with somebody like this, they want they want excitement. She can't tuck and talk. Even though she does, it's just grunts and whatnot. Anyways, I, I don't know why we're... F okay, there, good. Test book closed. Okay, now the task book is closed. <laughs> oh my god, she's all over the place with this. I need to hey. tell her to fucking work on editing. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm saying you will literally become a monster. Lead on, lean in the big thick, aren't you? The secret's going to good performance is sub subtlety, subtlety. Hey, hey! <laughs> Fine, don't believe me. You'll see. You'll all see. Will Krusty ever take something seriously? Will Homer wear pants again? Will this message ever be useful? Find out soon. And the answer to all those questions is no. Well, that's good to know. Alright, so this is pretty much the end of this uh, thing. There's only like one more thing she wants to show off, and that is what happens near the end of this here. And the fortune teller, she's like an hour. Two more hours left of this. Willie's done complaining to himself. And just like that, I got free donuts. Yay! Gotta love how I just kind of clip everything out. Okay, here we go. Yeah, all right, there we go. Now we're gonna. Now we're talking. Wow, this predicting the future rack is making me a fortune. Not so fast. By using your prediction to make a money, you're actually changing the future timelines and risking horological catastrophe in the bank of them. Hey, hey. In the name of galactic chronological intelligence, I must order you to seize my. Hey there, handsome. How would you like to join me on vacation to Apocano, my treat? In the name of galactic chronology intelligence, I'll go pack my pathing suit. And there you go, Miss Fortune Tell going on vacation for a day. And Frank doing the same thing, but he's a zombie right now. Actually, everybody's a zombie. <laughs> getting ready. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. Getting ready for Halloween. Alright, so I think this is about it. That's all the content for this one short week, which is usually good when it comes to teasers. It's like, like a short quest line that's just kind of giving you a hint of what's to come. Now this is where she wrote something down for me and her prediction, which I actually have to agree upon. So she's she's going to Krusty Land for some reason, and she's kind of zoom she's gonna zoom in on here for a bit. Yeah, so she's like focusing on Krusty Land. She's like, why why focus on Krusty Land? Well, I I have a theory on why she's doing this. So 
that was that content update. So my opinions and hers kind of match somewhat instantaneously. And I believe what we might be getting this year for Halloween because it was uh, last year was somewhat shitty when, with the Harry Potter theming, but I think this year they're going to be a little bit better. By the sounds of it, especially looking for Krusty, it sounds like they might be doing like um, the first Halloween special, which isn't the Trios of Horror. You know that episode one uh, back in like 2015, I think. There was an um, there was a moment where Lisa basically didn't want to do Halloween anymore because she got scared, cr like scared the crap out of her, because they went into this kind of like Krusty's Halloween Horror Night, and it was just fucking terrifying. I believe and I have a theory that this is exactly what's going to happen. I think there's going to be some sort of like weird carnival like uh, like horror kind of attraction. Kind of like thinking like something wicked this way comes. My predictions say. But you know you don't know with EA. It's going to be something weird silly. All I have to hope is that it's better than what we get last year. So with that in mind I think I'm going to end it here. So... Thank you for listening in. I hope you enjoyed my commentary over her gameplay, and we'll see you next time on this Gale tapped out uh, update per se.